Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This will be an unboxing for a new release from the company Pop Toys, based in Hong Kong. Now you can see there www.poptoys.net. This is the deluxe version of this figure. Now the name of the figure isn't written in English on the box that I can find, so I've had to uh, jump on Facebook onto the Pop Toys page and uh, I've written it down. So let me just uh, read this. It's Pop Toys 1-6 scale W. 002 slash W003, the second of Warrior Women series, the Butterfly Helmets Female Warriors slash four configurations. Maybe that means you can display her four different ways, but it does look very interesting. Uh, Pop Toys got in touch with me. They sent me a message some weeks back saying that they saw some of the videos on the channel. They liked them and thought they were very professional. So that's a nice thing to hear from my end. Uh, thank you very much the guys over at Pop Toys for checking out my stuff and really happy that you like it And it means a lot that you think enough of me to send me something like this to review So um, yeah, we'll get her out and we'll see See what's uh, see what's going on. It's very interesting. I've never reviewed any kind of samurai warrior before And I do like my female figures, so it's nice to have a female samurai, but look at that. All right, we'll get her out We'll see how it looks now, the only other experience I have with the company Pop Toys is this figure here. I bought this, uh, well, maybe like half a year ago, maybe. Uh, it's the Pop Toys Tomb Explorer figure, obviously based on the Angelina Jolie version of Tomb Raider. And I really do love this piece. Do check out the review and especially the pose session video I did with this figure. I don't think you'll believe how good this figure can look in certain poses. It's absolutely scrumptious and I'm very glad to have this. But yeah, that is my only experience with the company. So I don't know if they saw this video or maybe they saw a review on something else. I'm not sure, but it's very nice that they were checking out my stuff. So thanks very much again, Pop Toys. Now let's get on with the unboxing. Let's just get a quick look at the packaging. Very nicely done. Very good, strong cardboard. Nothing cheap here. Very good. Very high quality. And uh, model number there. Oh, this bit's upside down, but oh, here's a list of all the stuff that's in this box. So you can go ahead and pause this, check that out for yourself. But as you can see, she comes with a lot of stuff. This is a deluxe version, so that would make sense. Very nice packaging. All right, so once we lift off that main lid there, I think we have a diorama background, which you know I always love when a figure comes with a background. It just opens up the doors to all kinds of possibilities when it comes to having fun with these things and taking pictures. So we'll have a look at that. That's a nice background that folds out. Uh, here's some instructions. All right, it seems to come with um, like a display set up for the actual armor for the samurai look. So she doesn't actually have to wear this. She has got clothing underneath the armor. So that's cool. All right, let's lift up the foam. Get a look at this together. Wow. Oh, wow, that's a that's a big sword. Wow, look at the handle. Whoa, look at that. That is nice. See, this is rare for me because usually when I'm getting a figure, I know all about what comes with it. I know what it's going to look like, but I really, I had no idea. Pop Toys got in touch and they said, you know, we'd like to send you something to review. I said, that would be lovely, here's my address, and I had no idea what was coming. I went onto the, web, uh, the Facebook page and saw what kind of figures they had coming out. I did see that there was uh, kind of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Angelina, Jolie, and Brad Pitt figures coming, some uh, Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock, I think it is, uh, and then a whole bunch of samurai warriors and knights and stuff. So, wow, look at the colors. That's very nice. Interesting. Oh, wow, look, you've got the... Uh... The cool kind of faceplate that goes on the helmet there. She's got th well one big sword, another well two big swords, and one sort of dagger, I guess. And some cool little box. What's this? All right, some nice big flag. That's a, a metal pole. Feels like metal. Well, that's nice. This is very interesting. Let's unsheath her blade. Let's see how this looks. Wow, this feels really high quality, and it's definitely metal. Well, it's big, long sword, man. Jesus, that is long. That is, that is a very impressive piece right there. Look at the kind of wavy effect there. See that? It's kind of sharp too. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's a whole bunch more stuff underneath here as well. Another layer. But let's just get a look at the figure. There's the unmasked head sculpt. 
This is a female samurai warrior. At least I, yeah, it is a female samurai. <laughs> so I was just, I was just uh, making sure. Uh, yeah, wow, look at this. Look at all the colours, the vibrancy, the armour. Very nice. I think there's another version of this that's a lot more sort of just black and kind of dark blue. Much more kind of dark version. But this is really interesting because you've got the black, the golds, the reds, the blues. It's all happening. But that is a nice head sculpt. Let's get close. We can see. Very nice. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, gotta be careful. It's gonna be fun putting the all the armor on her. Let's get a look at this. I might pause it actually. Okay, well, uh, she actually has like a little ponytail here that actually uh, clips into the top of the back of her head so I didn't notice that before but that's cool so a little ponytail we'll put that on in a minute uh, here is the samurai helmet which is really really detailed and feels kind of like it's metal uh, certainly this large section that goes around the head that feels metal definitely that's some really nice detail on this be careful with that the little dangly bits all right and here's that aggressive looking you know, intimidating armor plate that goes over the face. Yeah, I guess that just straps around her head there. All right, this other sword is slightly shorter than the uh, the first one we looked at. So three completely different types of um, bladed weaponry here. We've got the dagger. Does that come out? I'm sure it does. We'll have to check. Yeah, I can't do it one-handed. We'll, we'll get to that in the review. This is just an unboxing, guys, just to see what's in the box. The full review is coming up tomorrow, I think. All right, so here we've got the, the setup to display the armor if you don't want to display her wearing it. Yeah, nice base. Yeah, all right, cool. There you go. Nice little nameplate. Very simple. Understated. Serves its purpose. Very nice. This is, uh, feels like real wood. Yep, that's wood. Quality, very nice. Okay, here the figure is, all out of the box and on the desk. Everything displayed. This is everything she comes with. Again, this is a deluxe version. Beautiful backdrop here. Very different from anything else I've ever had before. And I do apologize for the evil presence in the room. October is coming and he knows it. He's ready. Uh, yeah, look at this, the um, nice little raised base here to display your accessories. If you don't want her to be wearing the samurai helmet, then you can display it on top of the beautiful wooden display accessory here. Beautiful flag, simple, and a nice metal rod that goes into the other little wooden accessory there. And this is very nice, the display for the swords two different sizes two different looks and the dagger at her feet and just overall very impressive very different from anything else i've got in the collection so very interesting to see something like this uh, i know for a fact someone like moggy215 uh guy who used to do a lot of reviews on youtube master poser generally a very cool guy mr moggy I am sure uh, this is right up his street, so I'd be curious to know if he's ever had anything like this in the past from Pop Toys, because they are doing quite a few different types of these kind of figures, male and female warriors of different sort of styles and eras. But yeah, This is just the unboxing, guys. A full review coming up. I'll film that. Got to work tonight, and when I get back in the morning, I'll get to, get to work on filming that nice in-depth review for you. So that's coming up on the channel. Maybe a little true light review as well once I get her all set up. As you can see, very nice head sculpt there. Let's get right in. Yep, good paintwork, nice work on the eyes. And the hair, ponytail, nice touch. Beautiful armor. Uh, I think these parts are all metal. These bits all feel metal. This bit here is kind of like a thick material, but there's a lot of metal parts on her. So. 
Yes, instructions there. 10 seconds, guys. All right, full review coming soon. Again, massive thank you to Pop Toys for thinking of me. And I'll see you guys real soon.